Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now as you can clearly see, this box is bigger than the camera. Because I really didn't want to push the whole entire setup back. Just so I have to push it right back so I can show you the figure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off the turntable and we're going to kind of look at it. You know, from side angles and stuff. We're going to look at the box. As you can clearly see, there is no figure in this box. Uh, it's laying here on the table and stuff. So we will touch base on this one here because this one here is uh, the actual um, well, Raven's Dance type uh, Wednesday and that's pretty much what this one is I've been waiting for this one to come in and I did receive it roughly about maybe two weeks ago and for obvious reasons it's been too many distractions to get back into these videos again so I will tell you this I haven't done a video in a very long time so hopefully we'll get right back into this. Uh, we just got a new puppy. So we've been dealing with that now. Uh, but anyway, we're going to get right back into this. We're going to look at the box art. Then we're going to look at the figure and compare the figure to the original Wednesday. Uh, which I don't no longer have the box for that one. But I do have the Living Dead doll based on that one as well as this new version. So we're going to get into that here in a second. All right. So stay tuned for all that. Okay. Okay, we're back. Now, I will tell you this, because of the plastic on this, there's a serious glare here. I don't know if it's distracting or not. If it is, I apologize. And I don't think you can actually see the background, but if you can, uh, it's kind of red with black in it. So that's the kind of background it is. So I'm going to show you what it looks like just by lifting it and showing you what it looks like here. The shadow cut here is pretty cool. Okay. But it is called... Raven's Dance, Raven Dance, okay, Raven Dance Wednesday, that's what she was in, dancing and that one, doing that weird dance, which I thought was kind of cool, it was kind of creepy too, in a way, alright, alright, I'm going to show you what that looks like right there, and like I said, I got to lean this uh, box in, in sideways simply because it's huge, okay, but you'll get the idea of it, alright, the back of it like I said I have to do sideways all right now these are actually living dead dolls uh, they're from Mezco toys they also do the uh, mega scale versions of horror figures which I'm gonna show you in a separate video it is based on the 2017 Pennywise I do have that one and it's got some fucking cool sound effects, okay? Uh, but this Pennywise is pretty cool. They do have another one out there. It's got the Wicked Teethy uh, version of his face. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to pick that up unless it's a future thing. But I do have another Pennywise coming in that is a mega scale based on um, Mezco. It is from the 1990 version of uh, Pennywise. It, Stephen King's version of It. Uh, that one's going to be coming in here probably in the next week or so. And um, we'll do a video on that next, okay? But anyway, we're going to be touching base on Wednesday here. All right, you get the idea what the box looks like here. Hang on, let me turn that around. And that's what the box looks like. And then we're going to get into the figure here. All right, enough about that. All right, now, this is the actual Raven Dance version of Wednesday okay I'm gonna put them right here so you can see what she looks like all right it's kind of weird I don't know what she does think there we go just like that a little bit all right all right I can turn it on and let you see it hopefully it won't fall there we go okay Let's put you in the center here. There we go. 
Uh, that's the Raven version of Wednesday. And I'm going to show you the original here. The original comes with this hand. It's called It. Okay, I do have a mechanical. It, it's kind of like an It, but it's not the official licensed version. But it is very similar. It is an actual hand that when you turn it on, it will cr uh, crawl across the floor. It's pretty cool. I had to get it. My wife got that for me. It's like, oh, that's cool. But anyway, this is the uh, it, the hand. And I'm going to show you the original here in a second. And we're going to compare the two of them, okay? And that's the hand right there. All right. Now, I don't know if the lighting is doing any good here, any justice. If it's not, I will probably end up redoing these videos. Uh, let's just shut this down so we can do some comparison here. All right. I'll show you the material and everything, okay? All right. Okay, the face is very similar to this one here. We're going to compare. Should be the same, technically, with some minor details. Okay, and you see? Get out of my way! <laughs> Fuck out the way! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm being stupid, don't mind me. <laughs> what did you say to me? Fuck you! <laughs> anyway, this is the uncensored version. That's why I say when I set up uh, these videos, uh, it's not actually catered for kids, but if they watch this, if they do, you're going to hear an occasional cussing, okay? But anyway, the outfit in itself, as you can see, is pretty cool. I'm going to lay this down here for a second. All right. It's a very dressy dress. Okay. okay. Don't be looking under there, you perverts. So that's what it looks like. All right. And at the back of it is the back of the head. Okay, she's kind of in a little ponytail, okay? okay? She's got braids off the side here. Very cool. And obviously her hair is stiffened. Kind of like Elvira's a little bit. I got a living dead doll based on Elvira too. Alright. But that is Wednesday. The dancing version. Okay, the shoes. Right. They are a little loose, so you can say they're sloppy, but that's okay. Once you set it down and stuff like that, you're not going to have an issue with it. All right. There's no holes in the bottom of it because they're not meant to be uh, put on stands unless you glue a stand to it. But in most cases, when you get these Living Dead dolls, they are capable of easily standing on their own. Now, if you put them on a shelf like mine is, and you happen to walk by and just slightly bump the shelf, they will fall over. Okay, Just know that. Okay, and that's the top of the head. She's got nice shiny hair. Mm -hmm. The articulation, as you can see, the arms do move up and down, okay? Uh, there's no articulation in the elbows or the hands, okay, because they're stiff, okay? But in the shoulders, they do. The torso in itself does not have any mobility, okay? The legs, they do switch back and forth, as you can hear. And it's got a little bit of plastic under it, simply because... You want to poof out the dress a little bit, and that's why they put plastic in it. Okay, the head. Okay, it does. Hang on, let me grab that. Move rather easily, I might add. See, and it's got a little stiffness to it, so when you do put it in a certain positions, like so, it'll stay there. It's not sloppy loose. It does move up and down, as you can see. All right. Well, that's pretty much that. So let me just go and put you off to the side here. Let's put you up here. All right. Okay, looking good. The original Wednesday. Okay. We're gonna check out her hair. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Now, you notice she's got a different hairstyle. She's got bangs on this one here. All the way straight back to ponytails. All the way through the uh, the entire series. It's a Netflix series. It's actually a very good uh, TV series. I believe they're going to pick up season two probably sometime in October around Halloween. Or I'm not sure when, but 
I'm looking forward to that as well. Stranger Things Season 5 is getting ready to come out. It's the final season, too. Now, Season 4, I was like maybe four episodes into it, and I just could not get back into it. Because I love that show, right? So I'm going to have to make a feeble attempt at watching Season 4 again, and then we're going to go right into Season 5 when, it's, when it comes out. The dress on this one here is obviously different, okay? And it's a long one. It goes all the way down to her boots. This particular Wednesday is wearing boots, but this one doesn't. It's wearing shoes because she's dancing. Okay? And it goes all the way to her knees, as you can see. I'll be looking. <laughs> okay. Now, articulation-wise, it's the same. It's stiff. Okay? All right? The head does move from side to side, and it moves up and down. See? And that's pretty cool. It's stiff, too, so that's the main thing. You can, they're fully posable in that aspect, but they're li literally dolls. Oh, oh, okay. I knew you were going to do something crazy. So let's go ahead and oh, hang on, put you back down. <clears throat> and we're going to drop your arms a little bit, pull your head back, and we are good. We should be good. Yep, okay. It's more of a balancing act when it comes to these figures. You gotta balance out their arms and their head. Make sure it's kind of up straight. I do got a Reagan uh, doll that's based on um, The Exorcist. It is also a Living Dead doll. I think that's pretty cool too. I've got a vacuum form mask based on Reagan. It should be coming in once they tell me the pre-order is there at the store, and they're just gonna pack it and send it out. And I'll show you what that looks like too. But anyway, that's what these two Living Dead dolls look like, and they're fully posable. With the arms and the legs, this one has a little bit different boot system, okay? As you can see, it's a lot stiffer. This because she's dancing, she's just wearing shoes. Alright? And that's pretty much it between these two Living Dead dolls. Now, when I first got this one here, alright, I thought this, like, oh my god, the skin on this thing is incredibly dark. And I'm like saying to myself, maybe it's because she's in the dance hall there dancing, and it's really dark, and that's probably why her skin's like that. But then I looked at this one because I haven't looked at it in a while. I'm like, well, her skin's the same color. All right, then. Maybe that was just me. Okay. And it was. It was just me. Anyway, that's my Living Dead dolls based on Wednesday. I'm not sure if they're going to come out with any other ones. But I do have a Terror or Toonie Terrors uh, version of Wednesday coming in when it becomes available. I'll show you what that looks like, too. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good night. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I'm going to be pushing out. Uh, my next video, which is going to be based on the Ghostface Living Dead dolls. I got the original. I just got in the zombie version of uh, Ghostface. And we're going to compare the two of those right after this video here. Then I'm going to move in on my Pennywise. And I'm going to show you the sound effects and everything on that one too. In the meantime, you have yourselves a good night.